Hi and welcome back to the AQA GCC History, Germany, Democracy and a Dictatorship 1890-1945 revision series. This is episode 18, which is the last episode in this series learning about the course's content. But for now we're going to be looking at the Holocaust. Large numbers of German Jews had been sent to concentration camps since the Nazis came to power. After the conquest of countries in Western Europe, many more Jews had been transported to camps. When Germany invaded Poland and the Soviet Union, even more Jews fell under Nazi control. The Nazis planned to deport them to a Jewish reservation in German-occupied Poland, but the idea was dropped because the area couldn't possibly hold all of Europe's Jews. Instead, Jews were to be killed. This was described as the final solution to the Jewish question. As a temporary measure, the Nazis created ghettos, small areas of towns and cities where Jews would be gathered, away from the rest of the population. Conditions in the ghettos were terrible. Many people died of disease or starvation. Some were used as slave labour, for example in weapons factories. After the Nazis invaded the Soviet Union, Einsatzgruppen followed the German army. They were units of SS soldiers whose jobs were to murder enemies of the Nazi state in occupied Eastern Europe. They were a key part of the final solution in killing huge numbers, especially in Poland and the Soviet Union. To slaughter on the scale that the Nazis required, death camps were built in Eastern Europe. Heinrich Himmler, head of the SS, was in overall charge of this operation. The camps included gas chambers to carry out the mass murder and crematoria to burn bodies. The plan was to kill around 11 million people, all the Jewish people living in Nazi-controlled territory. People were transported to the camps from all around Nazi-occupied Europe. They could take luggage and even paid for their own train ticket. The Nazis wanted to hide their intentions to prevent panic. Mainly Jewish people were killed, but other groups were targeted as well, for example Slavs, Romani, black people, homosexual, disabled people and communists. By the end of the war, the Nazis had killed approximately 6 million Jews and countless other people. Before the end of the war, orders were sent out to destroy the camps, but there wasn't any time. After the war, people around the world found it hard to believe that this inhuman, cold-blooded extermination had even taken place, and that so many soldiers were involved. It had been argued that they might have gone along with the Nazi leadership for various reasons. The Nazi guards felt they had to do their duty and obey orders. They might have feared the leaders or just felt that obeying orders was the right thing to do. Jews may not have been regarded as fully human, so killing them didn't matter to the guards. The world only discovered the horror of the death camps as the Allies advanced in 1945. Some historians claim that there's evidence for the fact like leaders like Churchill were actually told about the camps, but they didn't believe the facts. If you want to find out a bit more about the Holocaust, I've linked some video clips and some documentaries and news articles down in the description below for you if you want to have a look at that. But now we've reached the end of episode 18, which concludes the AQA GCC history, Germany, democracy and dictatorship 1890-1945 revision series. Thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed.